What if the number 13 was the most revealing of all? What if the 13 described the center? What if the 13 was the same as a black hole? What if the 13 was both light and darkness and darkness and light and all? What if contrast brings forth creation? What if the atom, the sacred geometry, of creation is based off the toroidal hyperboloid. What if we're on the inside looking out and see things in a perspective, a perspective of doubt? What if our eyes are different in vision we see? What if we can't explain the same thing? even if the same thing was presented to you and me. Is perception our own deception? Or is our heart where the Anu lies at the center of our existence? The Anu is the Adam, the Atman for sure. The Anu is the black hole of Sagittarius A, and much more. The Anu is our heart. It's our spiritual soul connection. But only when we see the pineal light of resurrection. Day means God in its oldest etymological sense. Night is void of spiritual essence. Bury your head in the sand all you wish. For me, I'm going to be the one who says who. Who, who? Pine cones are depicted and served up in our face daily. The eye in the triangle on the dollar bill is the same. And it's about the center, which is about the 13. The center in you is the center in me. The center of our minds and the center of our hearts come together as one center. Then we ascend above the reincarnation cycle of the one that is in Orion's sword. You see, swords are words, and words are swords. And in the middle of that sword is a nebula, M42. In Orion's nebula, in the middle of that, there's a place called the Trapezium Open Star Cluster. There's no doubt about that. And it's formed as a cross cross because it's true the light is within me the light is within you the reason for orion in the symbol of man is because we are the measure of all things understand that the light is created in divine revelation there is no other there is no other thing We are one and one in all. The light is the cross. The cross is the light in all. Upon birth, the flail ever present. You know, the flail on the sarcophagus is the indifferent ruthlessness of this physical manifestation. 
manifestation is that because it's in the word that our answer and where our answers are at is in the words that we seek and we need definition. We're no different from that. We are spirit seeking definition in the finite. We are the soul, the one fractalized Adam sent out to experience the whole. What greater gift than this is, than there is than that. I, I don't understand how people can't feel this, but I don't want to sound, I don't want to sound uh, abrasive. I don't want to sound brash. I don't think I'm far, I don't think I'm ahead of anybody. I don't, I don't even think about that. I just wish everybody would see what we are capable of. And that is everything, folks, because that is everything we love.